Hey everybody, it's Harry from Sepadetti Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. I have a couple of beautiful pork picnics here, which comes from the hog, and uh, I want to show you guys a little Hawaiian recipe. Many years ago, I used to fly for airline, and uh, I was stationed in Hawaii. When I was in Hawaii, I ran across a Hawaiian grandma who showed me her authentic recipe on how to make really good Kalua pork. Since I found some original here of taro leaves from the store, I'm going to put this episode out to you guys to show you, show you how to make a Kalua pork using some simple ingredients including some chicken base, liquid smoke, and a couple of Hawaiian sea salt. I have here a beautiful pork picnic, which essentially is the bicep of the pig. We're going to uh, wrap it with some of these uh, taro leaves here. And I was able to find this in the store. If you cannot find a taro leaf in the store, you can use uh, some banana leaves. Uh, sometimes you can also kind of get some frozen spinach or from fresh spinach to act as the base to put the pork in. But I'm going to use uh, the actual taro leaves, which is how they make a kalua pork in Hawaii. So I'm going to place it in a foil, place the uh, pork picnic here right over a big taro leaf like that cut another piece here to wrap it in a couple of different layers of uh, taro leaves so a piece here like that and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double up because uh, the taro leaves actually impart a very unique and special flavor to Kolo pork maybe I'll put two at the bottom and one on top these leaves are not that easy to find but if you can score one in your Asian market uh, please by all means use one of these things if not banana leaves if you can find it and if all else fails just go ahead and use uh, some spinach and that works just as well so two layers of uh, these leaves here with my pork butt in the middle get two to cover to the top what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a few components so uh, the first thing we want to add is a little bit of the nor chicken base sprinkle maybe about uh, two tablespoons on it like so this is the recipe taught to me by a Hawaiian grandma and I've cooked this recipe for the past, what, 30, 40 years. And every time I make it, even when folks from Hawaii come, they say that, wow, that's really, really good Kolo pork. What's the secret recipe? Well, it's not my recipe. It belongs to a Hawaiian grandma. And uh, let me show you guys how it works. So I have a little bit of a Hawaiian style salt here. So this is a uh, Hawaiian style pink salt. I'm gonna get a little bit of authentic Hawaiian salt on it. Like so I'm also gonna add a little touch of the black salt. So it may kind of, it looks like flecks of black pepper, but this is actually specialized Hawaiian sea salt. And I believe that the reason it's black is because it's got a little bit of lava minerals built in. So when I put it on, it kind of looks beautiful. It looks like a little bit of a black pepper, but it's actually salt, right? Now the last secret ingredient here is that they use a liquid smoke on their pork kalua. And uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of liquid smoke here. So, and how much you want to add is up to you. I think that maybe half a bottle is good. Uh, this is not traditionally cooked in a pit like I usually do it. This is cooked in an emu. An emu is an underground oven in Hawaii. You've probably seen those in the uh, YouTube uh, where people cook a Hawaiian Kaloa whole hog, whole pig. So that's about half a bottle of the uh, liquid smoke. So this is ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and now wrap it with the taro leaves on the top. Roll it into a ball in the foil, pop it into a 350 degree oven, and in about five or six hours, I'm gonna have some beautiful, wonderful, moist, tender Kaloa pork. We're gonna serve it with some uh, steamed rice and uh, some Hawaiian style sides. Okay, there you have it. Package ready to go in the oven. Kaloa pork is now ready. It's taken about, about four or five hours to get it to about 195, 200 degrees. So it's probe tender. I'm gonna go ahead and plate it now with some rice and uh, with the taro leaves. And the taro leaves are edible. So I'm gonna save some of that. Kind of like a uh, Hawaiian style spinach. I'm gonna put the spinach in one 
bowl and bones and then put the meat in one bowl so I can carefully shred it. This wonderful gelatinous fat. Uh, some people throw that away, but I prefer to uh, eat it with, you know, shred it with the uh, pork here. Looks uh, the beautiful skin. Kind of melted chicharrones. So I'm separating the fat now to separate the lean meat for those who like the lean meat and I'm going to save a little bit of the fatty for the folks who like the fatty meat. So usually when I serve color pork, I'll separate the meat out so that everybody can kind of get the kind of pork that they like. We shredded the uh, kolo pork and uh, I have a pile of uh, pork here and I separated the fat and I have the jus. We're going to do a little bit of a seasoning now with some of the uh, alea sea salt here. Let's get a bit of salt on it. So, just to get enough uh, kind of saltiness here. It's got a nice kind of smokiness and then the uh, vegetable that we put in, the taro leaves, kind of imparts a kind of unique flavor. I prefer the taro leaves uh, versus, sometimes they use cabbage, sometimes they use uh, spinach, uh, but I think the uh, taro leaf tastes a lot better. Give it a bit of sauce here, give it a taste. Mm, excellent, very, very good. So, um, Mr. Beans is waiting for me, as usual. I'm gonna try some color pork, Mr. Beans. Sit, sit, stay, stay. There you have the uh, completed dish, the uh, kolor pork served with the taro leaves and uh, some rice with furokake, which is some uh, Japanese uh, sesame seeds and seaweed on top. And not too hard to make at home, using uh, grandma's uh, secret recipe for kolor pork. Just uh, some taro leaves, some, just some uh, alea, alea, alea sea salt, and uh, a little bit of uh, love and you're all set. Here you have it, the uh, final result. Serving some steamed rice, a little bit of taro, leaf in the middle and wonderful, delicious color pork. This is cooked in the oven. In future episodes, I'll be doing uh, several other Kaloa egg recipes for you. This one's grandma's recipe that I learned four years ago. This is my all-time favorite. I always get rave results uh, when I show this uh, dish at a party when I serve it at home. And uh, Beans is ready for his chair. You want another piece, Beans? This concludes another episode from Slapper Daddy Barbecue. I had a lot of fun making my grandma recipe, Kolor pork. Please like, subscribe, and until the next video, we will see ya.